Hey everyone, welcome back, Blue Rider here. So today we're doing another character breakdown. This time we're doing the three girls in celebration of the current, or I should, yeah, the current uh, gacha, which is the cheerleaders with Momo, Suyu, and Ashido. Okay, it just popped up right now. So those those three characters are a current uh, gacha, but we're going to go ahead and look at basic girls who didn't have a four to five star form before this update, I or gacha. Okay, first of all, we have is Momo Yadozu here, and we look at our art, this is the basic art, so it's like nothing really super fancy, it's just her displaying her power, she can make that cloth there. But, let's go ahead and look at her death blow, which isn't actually a death blow, it's a support attack. She creates an item and heals only herself, and that's where I kind of see a problem with it, she only heals herself, instead of healing other characters. She'd be way more useful if she could just drop a healing item, and you could switch your character, and they would get healed. That'd be crazy helpful. And she's listed as a tank type, but having a lot of health doesn't really make you a tank. You just have a lot of health, but you're still squishy. And she's very squishy with 2400 uh, defense here. Not a lot. And then her characteristic is she has health up by 10%. So what is that? 10% of uh, 48,000 is like what? 480 something. Somewhere around those lines. So her health is around 5,000 ish. Okay, next up here is Kyokajiro, and let's look at her art. It's Jiro, pretty much. Nothing really crazy special about it. It's her hero costume, which is... <laughs> she's not even wearing a mask or anything like that, so she's very identifiable, if anything. Next up, we have our death blow, where she shoots her earphone jacks through her, um, her feet, and it shoots a sonic boom wave. Now, this slows down the speed of enemies for like 5 seconds or so. So it's pretty cool if she can hit enemies, slow them down, you switch out attack some enemies that's it's good at all in all it'd be good on bosses when they're coming towards you you use hers and then you switch out for a strong character and then use their special attack to really deal heavy damage to that boss now she's listed as a support type and most likely because of her ability her characteristic is she does 15 percent more damage to blue types, speed types aka what she's opposite to and you know i'm looking at her and her defense is bigger than momo's like I'm still going to gripe on it, Momo should have been called a support type than a tank. Just because she has a lot of health really doesn't stand for much. If the enemies will still just do the da same damage anyway. Next up we have Ashido, we look at our art. Ashido the bombshell for... Like, I remember the artist saying he really liked Ashido and that she was hot or something. I don't know, something like that where he was talking to his staff members. But I think Ashido so far is probably one of the more attractive characters in My Hero Academia. As far as her hero costume goes, I don't know, maybe Rena, I don't know, it doesn't appeal to me. It can appeal to other people. I am, I'm not saying it's bad or anything, it just doesn't really appeal to me. Then we have her death blow, which is acid something, but pretty much she shoots acid in the air, and it poisons enemies around her, which is cool. And her characteristic is also poison based, as she cannot be poisoned. All around pretty good. Now, she is a 4-star, meaning by their stats aren't that high. Momo having the highest health is pretty surprising for a 4-star breaking 5,000 especially with her characteristic but even then her defense is still low and her attack is pretty low all these characters pretty much have low stats 3,000 is what I would call low when you're hitting 3,000 at your four star rank it's pretty low okay here we go this is Momo character design is pretty okay I don't know what that chair thing is on the back of her it's kind of weird looking like if someone like she has it for people to sit on or something I don't know I'm gonna have to go look back at like the volumes and see if it says anything about it because it makes no sense to me just looking at it like look at it it's just a chair it doesn't look like a bag is it a bag no it looks like a chair <laughs> I don't see any handles on it or anything so it's a weird thing I, I wasn't even talking about her her combos here which she uses her little pole thing I think it's about five to six hits we'll count in a second and as we clear these enemies, I will count them. There we go. Okay, cool. So now we count is... Nope, don't go that way. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six hits. All around, pretty straightforward. She attacks straight. Her attack pattern is going straight. She doesn't attack really in a circle, besides the last attack. When you look at it, it's really meant for right there. Enemies that are in your face. It's not like Bakugo who has huge explosions. One, two. I guess it, it adds to her range if she can swing an object. Boom, 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 like that, you know? 
It's not bad, I would say. It feels kind of slow, like her attacks, but honestly, I don't know if all the characters are attacking at the same um, same pace. Like, the frame rate is the same for each one. I, I don't think frame rate is the right word. Like, frame data or something. Let's, let's put a semi auto. Help us out here. There we go. Like, we're going to count it, I guess. We'll, we'll count and see how long it takes for her to do anything, to finish a combo. And then we'll compare it to the other girls, too. While we're here, we might as well do that experiment, just to see, just to check it out. Because if characters can attack faster, then there's no reason to go for characters who attack slowly, at all. That's the, ooh, whoa. There we go. We'll, we'll test after we kill these enemies. There we go, let's take that off real quick. Just for you, with these guys. All right. And oh yeah, I had to show her off for a special attack. It's not very great, I would say. One, one, two, come on, there you go. So let's try counting it, right? Uh, how am I gonna do this? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is it one each second? One. One Mississippi. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Hmm, I don't know. She, she seems like she just attacks slow. We'll look at the other girls and we'll see how fast they attack. So I might as well use her special here. Here it is. Healing item. Not even, there's no item that shows, it's just like a light. But that's it, it heals her. There's no stat buffs, there's no nothing. So, I don't really think Shigaraki was here. So again, it's kind of pointless. Like, because you're not going to be using Momo to fight. Definitely not her. She doesn't have enough attack, she doesn't have enough defense. So you're not using this Momo, that's for sure. I mean, I don't think anyone's using any basic characters. And we're done there. All she did was her attack animation. What? <laughs> Alright, next up we have a Shilo here, so let's go ahead and try her out. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So about five hits. We'll see for real once there's no enemies in our way. After we clear the area. Two. One, two. She's crazy strong, but that might be the gadgets too. Like, I'm, compared to Momo, look, she's taking care of things out. One, two. Like, fast. Now, like I said, it could be gadgets. I I have um, Ashido's. Let's stop there. Let's check out our attacks real quick. Aizawa, you have to get out of the way. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six attacks. Pretty cool. And it looks like she attacks faster. Two, three, four, five, six. I think she attacks faster. I don't know. I want to, when I go edit, I want to like compare them all side by side. And see if it really is true. If it is, then I'll make a note in um in the Momo when I mentioned it that they all do attack at the same speed, or if they attack at a different speed. Because some specials are way slower than um, others. Like Deku's finger flick, it's crazy fast compared to like Tetsu Tetsu's um, attack, even though he has to wind up for it. And here's a special. Pretty much, it shows out poison. Characters who don't die by it will get poisoned, most likely. There we go. Let's keep moving. Oh, shoot. You guys are really annoying. I like a shield combos. I wish there was, like, a little bit of an acid spray or something inside of it. Like, they can't tell me this purple is acid or anything like that. It's, it's just kind of line work. There we go. Oh, shoot. We missed it. Let's go ahead and do this. One, two, now it sucks, it's not bigger, I thought the range was bigger than that, but it's not. Okay, let's try it one more time. It only costs 110 too, so it's pretty, it's feasible. You can use it almost as much as you want. You'll gain back that SP pretty fast. Okay, cool. And away we go. Okay, here's the boss. Let's try to poison him and see if it works 100%. Because I think all the other enemies died, so let's... Try this out. Poison, poison, poison. Okay, so he has to get hit by all three. And then that's it. Now, poison is very useful. I'm not sure if there's any other character who can poison right now. 
Ashido being one of them is great, though. All right, let's move on. Okay, next we have is Kyokajiro. Overall, bad girl, punk girl. I don't know what a character, I mean, hero name is. I forgot. See, like, look at Jiro. Like, those first few attacks are kind of slow. One, two, three. You know, I might just be paranoid. It's like, why would they do that? Why would they do that? It'd be pretty counterproductive. Making each character different attack speeds. But I want to, I want to harp on it because why not? <laughs> and all Ozzy. Anyway, let's get that, get these guys out of here. Take them out. I expected her to do more kicking in her attacks. I don't know. She doesn't seem like the person who used like her hands. She has a good amount of kicking. One, two. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. We don't want to go in there yet. Let's check it out. One, two, three, four. Oh, just four. Again, one, two, three, four. She only, she only has four attacks. Compared to others who have five? I'm not sure who has the least. I think four is the least amount of attacks I've seen. I think uh, Luck Deku has four as well. With the one, two, three, and then the long jump punch, yeah. I could be wrong, though. I'll check it out in a second. Oh, wait, I have a Deku on me right now. I'll just check it out. Sorry, why I test something. One, two, three. Deku only has three. Jeez Louise. How does Momo Ashido <laughs> and plenty of other characters get more attack? Jiro, how does Jiro get more attack than our main character? That's crazy. Alright, get out there. Now Jiro's attacks aren't doing too well. She's not doing crazy damage. Now I should have said this also. I have the gadgets for each of the girls. So they are equipped right now on them. And they are boosting them. Uh, I have the Momo, Ashido, and Jiro, yeah, and Jiro uh, gadget, like the little comic panel one. I had that for all three of them, and I had them for a while now. I had Momos and Jiros for the longest time, but I had never gotten the characters until last summer session. Not last summer session, uh, phew, which one, which session was that? The Todoroki one, I believe, yeah. So we are even showing off our special attack, let's go ahead and do that real quick after we take out this next two. Whoa. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, now we can do it. It's cool. It shoots her little laser. Not laser. The sound wave. But it does so much damage. Watch. Bang. Instant kill. And these, like, regular enemies. There we go. If there is going to be a 4 to 5 star hero, I would like her to keep the same attack. Because it would be crazy strong. Especially when it lowers the speed. So let's go ahead and try to lower the speed of the boss right now. Let's try to get up to him first. There we go. Let's go ahead. Lower his speed. I miss. Oh, there we go. So see, now his speed is lower. Ah, uh, he? That's a robot. Whatever. Yeah, I just assume it's gender. You know, Jiro's got it going on too. Okay, so this is a new part where I want to give advice on if you use these characters, what gadgets should you use or how should you treat these characters and what situation. Momo, I think for sure, if you want to use her, you have to use her in situations where you know you're going to probably be fighting an enemy who's going to wear you out and you're going to wait for your opponent, not your opponent, your partner, your sidekick to get your S their SP back where you can throw in the special attack. Since she is a tank type, I'll put that in quotation, because she doesn't have the defense to support that kind of lifestyle. But you can use gadgets that will increase her defense, for sure. Use gadgets that will increase her defense and increase her health. Because all in all, she doesn't really need to fight the enemy too long. She just needs to, you just need to wait it out to get your stamina back for your sidekick. And plus, since she can heal herself, she'll be able to sit there a little longer, you know, get a few hits in, dodge, get a few hits in, heal yourself, rinse and repeat. Keep doing that. If you have Recovery Girl, it will make the part even easier, where she almost just practically can't die. And that's really cool, because she's one of the few characters that can heal herself. But even then, her on her own, she's not that useful. Now, Jiro here is a support type, and I think Momo should be as well, but Jiro works better as a support type, because... Her attack, her special attack, 
will slow that enemy down, then you switch on to the next person who will pretty much do crazy damage to him. So anyone like Todoroki, All Might, uh, Tetsu, Deku, who can just throw a crazy strong um, special attack out there, Death Blow, then that works the best because the enemy is not going to catch up to you in time, or at least by the time that Death Blow comes out, you should already have dealt the massive damage. Now, as far as it goes, she is a bit, t uh, she has a bit more defense than Momo, but doesn't really matter since her health is around the same also. I would go for increasing her SP. That way you can shoot out multiple of her slowdown attacks. Because when the enemy is slowed down, you can really drive circles around them. So I would say increase your attack. If there is a gadget that can increase your special attack, go for that. So I'll just run over it one more time. Increase her SP, her special attack, and her regular attack. Those are really going to help you when you want to play her with support. I think it's best if you have her just to switch in, switch out between special attacks. Definitely just dodge enemies, get your special back up there. I don't know if there is a gadget that increases SP gain or has like gradual SP gain per set, like seconds or so. If that exists and if you have it, definitely put it to her if you're trying to use her. And then for good old Ashido here, who really just works and she's really situational as her poison. I don't know, if you're finding a boss, really hard boss, I'm not sure how well this poison is going to work against that boss, as I'm not sure if it's potent due to her attack, and if it is, then go for more attack for her. I mean, poison is good regardless, but you're going to have to think about her surviving or switching out just for her to poison again. Now with 110 SP, she can keep doing it over and over and over again, as long as the enemy is right there in your face. Then you can handle it and then give them some poison, switch out, and keep doing the same. Now, what would I go for? I would say go for increasing her defense and attack. Those two are the most important. Defense and attack. Okay, and because I think uh, Momo and Ashida will be on the side, we'll put Jiro here right in the middle. That way you can see all three girls. And overall, they're fine. Obviously, if you have five to six stars, use those. But maybe if Jiro or Momo or Ashido are your favorite characters, they're decent cards, but they're not going to get the job done if you're looking to do something super challenging like Battle Royale or the Sports Festival. Or even harder level EX battles. These characters can get lower level EX battles done. Maybe 5 star ones with a bit of difficulty, as long as they're backed up with a good a good 5 to 6 star, is great. They work the best as support characters, not lead characters. And that's going to call it for this character breakdown. Thanks guys for watching. If you have any more other characters you want me to check out or try to or try to break down, please tell me. I have a cavalcade of characters. Cavalcade is a weird word for me to use. But look, I've got a lot. And we're going to try to go through all of them. I want to help create a database for this game without having to like log into a site every day as I don't have that kind of time. But I have time to record a video for like an hour and do this. So hopefully this really helps people out. I want to say, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.